One of the newest tools at Stochastic for this NFL season, it is our single lineup simulator. And in this video, I'm going to explain how it works and show you guys some of the features of the tool. Now, if you want to sign up for it, it is included as part of our light core or max packages, the light package starting at $19.95. Now, if you're looking to sign up in advance of week one of the NFL season, use the promo code kickoff because you can get access to our light or our core package for just $1 with that promo code for week one of the NFL season. Let's get into the tool here. And this is going to be pretty similar to building a lineup like you're normally accustomed to. And then you can simulate out that single lineup really quickly to get some inputs on whether it's expected to be a good lineup or not. But we want to start with to make sure you're getting the most accurate results possible. And Simple things here. Make sure you have the right site selected you're playing on, DraftKings or FanDuel. We also have all of the slates included in this. So showdown slates, main slates, afternoon slates, the Thursday to Sunday slate. We've got all of those included here in this tool. Now, pool size. This is going to be based on the amount of entries that are in the contest you're building a lineup for. You're going to want to select either small contest or large contest. Small contest, anything less than 1,000 lineups. Large contest, anything with more than 1,000 lineups, like the Millie Maker, which has hundreds of thousands of lineups. I'm just going to select small contest for the purpose of this video. And then the percentage to first payout, that is simply going to be what percentage of the total prize pool that you're playing in goes to first place. So if you're playing in a contest that has a $1 million prize pool and 200,000 goes to first place, well, 200,000 divided by a million is 20%. So you'd be selecting 20% to first. And then if there isn't an exact number here of the percentage to first in the contest you're playing in, you want to select the one that is closest to that payout. But going to select 20% for the purpose of this video. One other thing you could do to customize some of the projections is you could either manually change any of the projections on individual players, which will also impact the simulation, or you could upload a projection set, which pretty simply, you have a CSV with three columns, one that says player name, one that says projection, one that says ownership, and then you select the file, and that will change all of the ownership as well as all of the player projections from that file that you put in. We'll just hand build a lineup here, and this will show how the tool works. I think it's the easiest way to show is just by building out a lineup and then pressing the simulate button. Uh, one game that I personally really like for week one is Jacksonville, Miami. So I'll hand build a lineup right here, stacking this game. Uh, I'll put Tua in at QB, then wide receivers. Uh, let's go a double stack. So I'll go Tyree Kill, Jalen Waddle, Christian Kirk. And now I'll unselect this game. One thing you can do here to make the players really easily sortable, same as like when you're building a lineup on DraftKings or FanDuel, you could select individual games or multiple games, and that will make it so that only players from the games that you have selected are going to show up on the bottom here. Then you could also press all matchups if you've already selected a handful of games, that'll make all of the players reappear. Uh, but we've already got in here Tua. We've got a couple of wide, uh, three wide receivers, two of them stacked with Tua. So we've got a core of a stack built here. But now just to uh, make this simple to fill it out, because, you know, this is for purposes of this video, just an example. So this doesn't have to be an exact lineup that I'm looking to play, but just want to uh, finish this out. So let's go Chuba Hubbard and Rashad White, because those are the two best projected points per dollar plays we have at running back right now. Now we are going to have, you'll see here on screen, uh, $10,900 in total salary remaining, $3,633 in average salary remaining. So not a ton of leftover salary for us. We've already rostered some expensive players. So I'll keep that in mind here. We'll go with uh, Hayden Hurst here. We'll plug him in at tight end. Then at defense, let's go with... Sure, just plug in the Titans. I do know that Caleb Williams is currently expected to be really popular, so we'll get a little bit of leverage plugging the Titans in. Now at flex, I'll just sort by projection. And one thing you'll see here is that if you have show affordable players turned on the bottom here, then what will happen is the only players that will show up of the options are the ones you have enough salary for. So just an easy way to make the players sortable here because if you turn this off, then every single player in the pool appears, but you can't roster all these players because we only have $5,100 in average salary or in total salary remaining. So I recommend you leave the show affordable players toggle on here. And the players projected for the most fantasy points of what's available is Chase Brown. So I'll plug him in here. Uh, I didn't really look too much at the start times of these players. Obviously, it's something you're going to want to optimize for, but I'm just hand building a quick lineup here. And then we'll click run simulation. 
And this is going to take not all that long, and it's going to give us basic data to let us know, is this lineup expected to be profitable or not based on an ROI metric? And when this is done being simulated, which you'll see here, this looks like a really strong lineup, uh, actually incredibly strong, got a 188.8% sim ROI. So clearly this is a lineup that I would want to be playing. And then some other metrics here is that it's expected to win 2.3% of the time, uh, finish in the top 10, 15.3% of the time, and then cash 45.5% of the time. Keep in mind that in GPPs, typically you're only seeing like 18 to 22% of lineups get paid out. So if you're anything above that mark, I mean, here, this lineup cashing nearly 50% of the time, really strong metric. So what I would do here is if I ran a lineup and it has a positive SIM ROI like this, I'd say that lineup is good to go. But if you build a bad lineup and say it might have like a negative 20% SIM ROI, then you go back to the drawing board and I would rebuild that lineup, which you could pretty easily do just by pressing the clear lineup button. And then you're back at the starting spot to build another lineup. And that could either be because your first lineup was no good or you just want to build another lineup. So a new tool, really fun to use, great for people who play single entry or three max or just like hand building lineups. And uh, it starts as part of our light package, less than $20. So if you guys want to check it out, links down below in the YouTube description box to sign up. Good luck this NFL season. And if you haven't done yet, like the video and subscribe to the YouTube channel.